Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Am Creator Lore. So today what we're going to be looking at is going to work on a few different uh, settings. I wanted to get um, some loot tables in for the, uh, what was it, the actual flower, the, bu the bushes, the um, ivy bushes and stuff. So we're going to set a, a loot table system up for that so we can use silk touch and all that stuff. And then what we're going to do is go back and update the, um, the silk touch for the coal because I said we were going to do that. And I didn't have uh, time last episode to go back and do that uh, after I thought, hey, I should probably do that. <laughs> so uh, we'll be... Um, doing that today I just wanted to make a quick loot table now if you go into one of those question marks where it says uh, loot table for the drops uh, you can actually get the um, type of uh, the name for the um, registry so basically what I'm doing here is I'm just updating the registry so it was the same name and it's already pretty much configured for blocks so uh, it's under the mod namespace and um, it's uh, the loot table type is for blocks. So it's just setting up a couple alternate versions. So I wanted one for silk touch and one for not silk touch. And that's basically what I was doing in this part here. I was just making one um, enabled for that. I also was playing around with the uh, settings. I just wanted to make sure that it was uh, set up properly. So there was one without and then one with and then ignore. So if you're using silk touch, what you want to do is create actually two different versions and uh, then have one when it will uh, always be with silk touch, the other one with out silk touch, and then it will alternate between the two for the drop. Um, other properties just basically saved it there and then i was setting up the um one for the flower uh bush which uh was setting up right now so i just needed to get the tag name from here uh this one right here so that one and i know the, the text is really small in those uh help windows that you're probably not going to be able to see that even on 1080p but uh basically i was just copying that and then moving it over to the um actual application like for the loot table and then we're just setting up the um, loot table type again so uh, I wanted it to select sticks so it's going to drop sticks naturally this will give people the opportunity to uh, get uh, sticks from wood in this particular biome and then, then there's going to be coal that generates in the dimension so a pure coal so they'll be able to make torches and stuff. I was thinking about that over the last week. I'm going, yeah, there needs to be a way to make torches. So this is basically what um, my solution to the thing is. Because you'll be able to get sticks from shrubs. And shrubs are a renewable resource. So you'll be able to um, get that. So basically right here, I was just making a version for silk touch for the um, coal. And I think that's basically all that I really needed to do. Um, I wanted to adjust the actual uh, generation for the coal a little bit more. I wanted it more like regular Minecraft coal. So I, w I googled quickly um, the coal uh, for the dimensions. And I'm trying to read the natural generation section. And I'm going, okay, that's great. But <laughs> can you just give me the information, right? So I was like, um, eventually I ended up at a location where um or distribution and it has images of how that works and i'm like okay um not exactly what i needed so i ended up going back to the previous page and uh trying to find a page that i used to go on to but i couldn't remember where it was but this is basically what the ore generation for coal looks like it, it kind of fluctuates between the different layers which is interesting but it, again this isn't what this isn't going to help me for the values so I'm just I went back to the um, coal page and then I was like okay there has to be a link somewhere on here that will go to the ore generation and um, I went to the natural generation and then I was just kind of playing around with the settings and I'm like okay maybe I can kind of work with what's on this page and then I just realized that it's just too complicated they're listing multiple different values and I'm going 
that's great, but I'm not going to be able to really use that. So um, I ended up clicking on, I think, the or and overworld. So or or like the or one, the top link for the di distribution um, at the top there. I'm not sure if that's the link I clicked on or if it was something else, but uh, I ended up on the page eventually. So I was able to um, quickly get the... Um, values that I needed so I was just looking over I think this is the point where I was starting looking over the um, actual properties and I'm like okay maybe I can click on that link and it brought me to the page I needed so that's basically the one that I needed and I was just looking over at the values for coal and then I'm like okay these are the values that I need for the height and uh, difference so it's between zero and the maximum height from what this says uh, for the distribution and that will basically allow you to generate or on a triangular scale so it'll be more rare towards the top more rare towards the bottom and more uh or will be found right in the center of it so that's basically how we have it set up already so after i've done that i just was making sure the settings were set up for the or and i was just recompiling and then i was going to hop in game and make sure that it was all working but i wanted to make sure that all the settings were in check first so yeah outside of that i uh, just started playing the game and once i was in the game i uh basically just joined the world and uh, took a quick look around see if i could find any coal uh generating and there was some coal here um not a lot but there was still some. I just need a torch. I was trying to find the torch, and I'm like, oh, there's a torch. Uh, but yeah, there's there's not a lot of coal in this particular one. This is close to 63, so I was like, hmm, maybe there's not a lot of coal on this level. Going down, uh, there wasn't too much that I could see in that cave system. I'm sure there's more spread out throughout the thing. As I started kind of going around the map, though, I realized that the, the ore chunks were pretty decent size. Um, just kind of mining out the area, just kind of get an idea of how big the clumps are at this level. And uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty decent size for that one. So I just continued flying around until I found some more, um, more of them. So there's one right here, and I, I'm not sure if this is the one that I found that had two clumps or if it was something else but there wasn't too many in this one I don't think and then going over to the other side there was another one down here which was uh, actually two clumps uh, there was uh, this one and then there was another one behind it uh, which uh, you can kind of tell the generation when you're when you see it when it's fully mined out but there was like a blob over on one side and a blob on the other side but they were still connected by the I guess the generation so um, this was basically a very good indicator that the other ones were just unlucky finds so or this was a lucky find one of the two but um, it was pretty much uh, the point where I'm like okay this this seems like a pretty good setting for it so I was pretty happy with the generation. So it's just clearing out the area, just kind of getting an idea. And this is where you can probably start seeing the the two clumps. Uh, this one was more on this side, and the other one was on the other side there. Um, if we look over a little bit over there, you can kind of see it. Um, just mi finishing mining out the area. But yeah, you can kind of see that there's a clump there, and then a clump at the, b the back here. So there was like two veins that spawned in uh going down in the caves i didn't actually find anything um which is interesting because it it's supposed to go down to zero right so i'm not sure if it was just unlucky to find it in the cave or not but i didn't go too far i'm just like okay i'm not gonna bother going down that way i need to find somewhere else to actually test so i was just kind of getting out of here and um i did find a another cave uh, that was, I think, was, was it over here? No, it wasn't this one, I don't think. Okay, there was a little bit of coal there. I just was checking to see if there's any actual good spots. And it looks like these ones are pretty decent sizes as well, so. But, uh, there was another location that I found. Uh, I'm not sure if it was 
might have been in here. I was just kind of, at this point, I was just kind of like looking around, seeing if there was anything that I could actually kind of gauge the coal distribution on, or how common it was at this level. And I think this is the point where I was like, okay, yeah, this looks more realistic for uh, gauging. And I found this huge ravine and I'm like, okay, this is a pretty good way to test for it because all this open space, right? So uh, I just kind of fly, fly, flew around and um, looked for different blocks and stuff like that. And there was, there was a few different uh, coal veins around here. Uh, and I was just kind of lighting up the area so I could see it all. And yeah, I was pretty happy with the uh, ore distribution. So uh, one of the things that I wanted to test though quickly was the um, distribution for the actual sticks. And it does look like the loot table is working. So we're going to use silk touch and then we got the, the, the log for, or the bush for that directly. And then fortune that gave us three sticks. I'm just going to throw those three sticks over there. We got 11 sticks from that one. So fortune is apparently working as well. So this is in survival just to make sure that it's 100% working. So it is working. Happy with it. Uh, we still need to make crops. I think uh, we might work on that in a couple videos from now. But uh, there's a few other things that I wanted to kind of look at before um, we did anything really too important. And that's... Um, Go back and um, make sure that the, oh, what was it? The uh, grass, the grass wasn't actually replaceable. So normally gra grass is replaceable. So I was just checking that box on the side there just to make sure that uh, we could actually get the grass to be replaced by blocks. Going back in the game and we can kind of see that we can place the um anvil over the blocks we can break them still so it's like regular plants um, we can place other blocks on top of it as well so uh, just kind of like replacing these blocks will be a lot easier for building now which will be very good when it comes down to all that stuff so um, yeah and then I'm just like looking at the sea and I'm like actually you know what there is something that I want to actually do because in some cases we might have rivers eventually and I was thinking maybe we could add some different types of blocks in the the ocean well it's ocean right now but it might be a river at one point so if you have any ideas for an ocean uh suggest them down in the description of the video and then I can probably add them up add them next week uh, a couple of them so if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out